What's up everybody, this is Feta from 3D Print SOS and a little earlier on the channel, I replaced my hot end fan with one of these Winsin 40 millimeter 24 volt fans. They're also RGB and they come in this awesome four pack for barely any money. And the, the it's been doing great and the fan is actually much quieter than the stock one, which is a real big plus considering this has silent stepper so you don't really want to hear anything of the sort. However, some of you have noticed when you uh, up the temperature on the bed or start printing, there's other fans that get very loud. There's a, for, another 40 millimeter fan right here in the motherboard area and then there's another larger fan on the power supply. Both are kind of loud. So good news is uh, one of my subscribers messaged me, told me that this 40 millimeter fan is this has the same plug as what's on the motherboard and my motherboard fan has started making the same whining grinding noise that the hot end used to be used to do so if you've had this problem suggest you buying these fans because then you get a free upgrade for the hot end fan and if your hot end fan failed first i suggest you buy another another set of these because you're going to get a free upgrade for the motherboard fan. So let's replace these cheap Chinese fans with some uh, slightly higher quality Chinese fans. Uh, so far these have been really good. I've been printing a bunch uh, on this printer, long prints, short prints. The fan hasn't failed me or even uh, seemed like it would in any, any way. I've had no heat creep even though it's on the uh, hot end fan. I'm printing some high temperatures as well. Um, I've heard really good reviews. I've also seen some bad reviews, but not directly. I have friends running these. I have subscribers running these. They're telling me how good it is. So I feel pretty confident saying that these are pretty decent. You can buy them. Uh, link in my description if you guys want to buy yourself a set. Um, I'm going to take this printer out of here. I'm going to put it up top so you guys can get a better view of me working on it. And let's go ahead and install this. It should be a really quick and easy modification slash fix. And uh, as an added bonus, it will be much, much quieter. All right, let's get it started. All right, we got the printer out of there. Let's go ahead and flip it on its side. You don't want to flip it on its back or front because then the bed will slide. So I'm just going to take my time. It's got rubber feet so you can rest it on that. Slowly tilt it. There we go. It's sitting nice and solid. Let's see here. So we got three small Allen keys. Let's go ahead and pop those off. Oh, too big, too big. Of course, that's always the case. Let's see. There we go. You know, I'm going to use uh, the tools that came with the printer um, or printers. I obviously have better tools and uh, faster tools, but it's always nice to show, um, you know, what you can do uh, with these stock tools or the stock printer. So I'll just go ahead and stick with that. So we got one bolt out, it seemed like it was pretty long. I wonder if these are all the same. Let's see. Yeah, it seems like there's plenty of threads on these. Yep. That's surprising actually. They're using some pretty long hardware uh, for this little spot. It doesn't really need much force to hold really. But hey, that's uh, not a bad thing. Okay, that, this one's shorter. And so is this one. Okay, so the long one is separate, followed by two shorter ones. Let's see how this comes off. All right, looks like something else might be holding it in here. Is there a hole on the top? Let me feel my finger. There is. All right, so it looks like there's one more screw at the top. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the printer back. Yep, right up here. Let's see if you can see that. Yes, you can. Okay, move the bed back some. So there's four total. Yep, and I just heard it drop actually. So this is the one we should have uh, done first and put in last. Oh, it looks like this is another one of those long threaded ones. Let's see. Unless it just seems that way. Nope, another shorty. Okay, so three shorties, one long one. Be a little more careful this time because that that piece is off the printer now. Don't want to dent anything, scratch anything. Let's see, I'm going real slow, real careful. Okay, let me take a closer look. Hey, you know what, I'll get you guys a little closer. All right, so here's what we got going on. The fan is just held on with two screws and looks like it blows up from the bottom, not out. And then, uh, 
Let's go ahead and pull this, this little plug out. I can clearly see it. It's pretty easy to get to. You know, I'm, I'm just, I'm holding it by the actual plug, uh, trying not to pull the wires, but a little wiggle, that'll do you. Looks like the little prongs are at the top. Uh, black is on the right. Uh, red is on the left. Let's go ahead and grab the Winson fans. Open sesame. All right. Let's compare the plug. All right, black on the right, uh, red on the left. Should be good. Let's see if I can get in there. I'll go from this direction instead. Bend it a bit. There we go. Hold the frame. There we go. Nice click. Okay, now to replace it here. This is going to be the bigger Allen key. Yep. All right. So far, so good. Very simple, very straightforward. A little bit more threads, here we go. Okay, oh I see, it's on like little standoffs. All right, so we'll put this, this one in here exactly in the same way. Looks like it sits just like the other fan. So this is quite literally one of the easiest things you're gonna be able to do, whether this is a mod you're doing before the fan breaks or if your fan is making noise. It is really nice to make these quieter though. I wonder if this uh, cable is gonna be an issue, but what I'll do is I'll tuck it through here and just kinda pull it in so it's not in the way. There we go. Just like that. Let's put it where it should go. All right. That was extremely easy. I'm gonna go ahead and put this long, long boy in. Looks like it's gotta go long, it's gotta be long because it goes through the 4040 extrusion, like through the middle. So it's gotta be long enough to reach. Go ahead and tighten it down so I don't have to hold it anymore. All right. And you know what? Um, you know, one of those like, do as I say, not as I do type things. What you should have really done is plug this in and see if it's functioning and working uh, beforehand. But I'll go ahead and put it in since I already stubbornly put in the other uh, bolt. I'll go ahead and uh, finish this one up and turn it on. And it will make it easier to see if it's functioning because the RGB light will turn on. So I guess that's an interesting benefit to this whole thing. All right, this one was being a little bit stubborn, but not a big deal. Here we go. I'm not gonna tighten these too tight, just a little bit snug. Let's see if I can get this in a slightly better position. A little bit of wire management in there would be nice. But that's another uh, that's another video, right? All right, let's get all this out of the way. Uh, I'm gonna plug in the printer and uh, let's see if everything powers on. All right, the printer now has power. Let's go ahead and turn it on. All right, and I do see a little bit of an LED and then a flash. Oh, you know what, that, that, that LED that's happening now, that's the LED on the motherboard itself. Let's see if this has started, it did. I'm gonna go to control and I'm gonna go to preheat PLA. There you go, and the fan is on. I see it pulling. Oh my gosh, it's so much quieter already. Uh, it's a substantial difference. 
Yeah, it's very nice. So the power supply is the next fan up. Uh, it's not failed me yet. It's just a little bit loud, um, which isn't too big of a deal really uh, to me. So I'm not gonna fix it until it's broken. However, this looks like it's really easy to get to. This would be another easy upgrade. I can't tell right off the bat, but this might be a 50 or a 60 millimeter fan. Some of these are different. Some of them are slim. Uh, if that's the case and you wanna put, on, put in a non-slim fan, uh, which would be cheaper to purchase. You can always print covers for these. Uh, you can always put on a 120 millimeter fan, obviously a little bit overkill if you ask me, because these do just fine stock. So anything in this size would be okay. Um, so we'll tackle that when it gets here. Let me go ahead and put the printer back. I'm gonna go ahead and heat it up all the way just to see uh, if everything is good, how the noise is in comparison, and I'll see you in the conclusion. All right, everybody, conclusion time. Uh, I've now printed with this fan, and I can easily say that it is significantly more quiet. I used to turn on when I'd warm the bed and get really, really loud. Now, it, it it's not loud up until the power supply fan kicks on, and I would say it is about 50 to 100% louder than these two fans. So it's nice to know that these two fans are, are silent and working really well. Uh, obviously, you can't see the RGB underneath, but you know what, that's totally fine, right? It's uh, much better than having that noise. So, like I mentioned before, if you're having problems down there, get the fans, you can fix up here. If you have a problem up here, you can fix down there. What a great deal. Winston fan, uh, Winston, I'm a fan of Winston fan. Huh. And on that note, that concludes the video. Uh, you know, check the links in the description. If you guys like this video, give me a like. Um, and if you find uh, that someone on the internet or on Reddit or on Facebook or your friend uh, needs one of these fans, send them a link to my video and help them out. Um, show them how easy it is to install it because I know a lot of people are really discouraged uh, to work on their own printers and um, I can reassure you it's cheap and easy to do. Just uh, have some patience and uh, have a little bit of, uh, you know, be an op have an open mind to tinkering, you know? I think uh, if I could do this with two tools in a couple of minutes, uh, you can do it as well. All right. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.